Hi friends, it's Larissa. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can record yourself and your computer screen all for free using Canva. So if you're ready, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know I got the vibes and let go. So here I have a listing presentation done up. This is something that you also can uh, purchase on my Etsy shop. So take a look, link in the description box below. So because this is specifically a presentation in Canva, if it's not, you won't have the present button up here at the top. So with the presentation, how do we record this? So we go up to the present button up here. We click on that and we can click the present and record button. So go ahead and click that. It's going to push you to the recording studio. And then it's going to ask you to set up your camera and hook up your, your microphone of choice. So I have my Logitech Pro Brio, sorry, and my Shure MV7 mic. So now I can start recording. Now, in this case, it's gonna give you a countdown. And what you'll notice is that you'll have your talking head in the lower left corner here, but unfortunately you cannot move it around. So in this case, what it is filming is I believe both my camera and my screen. Hopefully I have that already in place, it's recording. So essentially you would just give your presentation normally as you would. And then when you're done, all you have to do is hit the end record button. Now this is going to uh, load up and what is going to happen is you can either download this to your desktop so you can later upload this to YouTube if you wanted to, or it's actually gonna give you a Canva link. So let's see if we click on this and open up a new browser. It's gonna actually show you what you just recorded. All right, so here's the talking head here. As mentioned, we did not, we can't move it. But if you take a look here, you see all these dots here. This is where I'm actually changing the slides. So it actually indicates the slides as well. And there should be later on when this is at all the way processed in the lower corner here you'll see show subtitles so it actually will transcribe your presentation and you can also play it in different speeds as well so that is something that is really awesome again to share with your clients share with your team now let's say you wanted to just download this video directly so you have that video file so you would go back to your presentation here we didn't exit out of this window yet so what we do was you can either download this or save and exit so in this case you can download it right from here but let's say you accidentally pressed save and exit so how would you go about downloading this presentation that you just recorded so here again because we are still in the present tab you'll see that you have that link that we just opened and we have that download button so if I just click out of here let's say we came back to this document on Canva, we exited out and came back into your presentation. You would go up to the present button, go up to the present and record next again, and you would see that download button here. Now you can download this again, or just share the link out. And that's basically how you would record your presentation. Now, second way we can record our screen and ourselves. So in this case, let's say we were, let's go back to the homepage here and for social media. We were creating a story of something. I don't know what it is. This is not what I want. I wanted the, my Instagram story. So Instagram story. And let's say we wanted to do some kind of a screen recording. So in this case, the second way we can record a screen is this way we would go into the uploads tab and you would see the record yourself so let's say i wanted to screen record a specific like let's say my youtube channel because i want to promote my videos so in this case you have several options of the record in this recording studio so you have camera only so just us talking here or you have camera and screen or you just have just your screen so in this case camera and screen is very similar as to how you would uh, record your listing a presentation so in this case if it's not a presentation you don't have that record option but let's say you wanted to record a different uh, canva document that isn't a presentation this is how you would do it you would just do the camera and screen so we would click on that you can choose which tab you want you can choose your window and you can also choose your computer screen so in this case i have a double monitor so i am i would choose this specific screen or the other screen. But in this case, I just want to screen record just my 
screen, not have my image here. So what would I do? I would go back up to this icon up here. I would click screen and then I would just go ahead and choose the window that I wanted. Now, let me show you one thing because it's recording your, and this only works with Chrome, by the way, I forgot to mention this. This only works with Chrome in terms of recording yourself and recording your tabs. So you would need to have Chrome and depending on how big your Chrome window is, it could be full screen, but in this case, I want to create it for a reel. So I want to condense it down here. So I'm going to change the size of this specific tab because it's just going to record just the Chrome tab itself. So if we go back here, we can see that it is shot like that. So in this case, I would go ahead and click share. And now we can see that it says sharing this tab Canva. And then what we do is go back into our slide here. And again, we have no camera on, no microphone if you didn't want to, but you could do a voiceover if you wanted to. You would just turn on the mic option and just choose your mic. In this case, we're just gonna do a simple uh, recording of my YouTube. And then what we do is because we're in the editing or sorry, recording studio, we would hit record. It's gonna give us a countdown. And now what we have to do is go back into our other window. Now, you know, it's recording because we see that there is the red recording outline. So we go back into our specific tab here and you can even see the blue. That means it's also sharing your screen there as well. So what we would do is just go ahead and flip through or scroll through our videos. And let's say we wanted to click on this one. We would click on that one, let it load, do whatever you need to do. And then when we're done, all we have to do is just go back to the recording studio, click done and stop sharing and save and exit. Now what this is gonna do instead is actually it's going to compress the video and it's gonna drop it into your upload section here in the videos tab. So you don't have a link at, like you would with the listing presentation option that I showed you. So in this case, you can, as you see, it immediately dropped it onto this page here, but what we can do at this point is also drop your videos into a, a frame. So we're going to go to elements and let's say we wanted to drop this into a phone here. Now I should have made the, the video a little bit longer. I should have squeezed my Chrome tab a little bit smaller, but in this case, what you can do is just drag and drop your video into here, give it a play give it a play. Okay. I was talking the whole time. There we go. And you can see that you can actually see the video in here. Now, again, because we, we squeezed our Chrome tab vertically to fit into this frame. Again, you can do the same thing. If you just have the full tab open is let's say you were recording like a, a page on your screen, you would just again, upload your video record your video and then you can just drag and drop it into this specific frame. So you have a lot of freedom, a lot of creativity to do what you please. So in this case, now what you would do if you wanted to, after you're done making your graphic here, all you could do is just go up to the share button and you would just download this as an MP4 file and download it to your desktop. And in this case, I can airdrop it to my phone. But if you can't do that, you're not on an Apple device in order to share this to your phone, what you can do is go up to the share button again, go to the more button and you'll see this send to phone option. So in this case, you have to have the mobile Canva mobile app already on your phone. You need, you need to be logged in. And what you can do is just take your phone camera and just scan the code. And then it's going to open up the Canva app design on the mobile version. And then from there you can download the design directly to your phone's library. So that is how you can record yourself two ways on Canva for free. If you are a real estate agent, I highly recommend that you film yourself presenting your buyer and seller consultation so you can send it to your clients for reference so they understand the entire process of the transaction of real estate. Now, if you have an upcoming listing, I highly recommend you film a little highlight video of you highlighting the best features of this property and insert it into your single page property website that I show you how to create in this video right over here. So if you're Ready? Three, two, one.